Now, of course, we have some herbs that also help with the skin. And of course, first up, we have burdock root. It's a hepatic and a renal tonic, but it has a particular affinity for the skin and it's excellent in the treat treatment of eczema and psoriasis. You have to be a little bit careful with burdock. It's quite a strong herb. If you have a skin complaint, if you do have any eczema, you can use burdock, but you may expect within the first three or four weeks of treatment that there might be what we call an aggravation. In other words, the skin condition might get worse. So at that point, instead of thinking, oh my God, I've poisoned myself, I'm making it worse, just think, okay, no, that's the disease working its way out. Um, we try to work around that. We try not to cause aggravations. They're not pleasant. And there are ways of doing that. When we, when we come to teaching you how to do specific, how to treat specific illnesses, uh, we can go into that in more detail. Um, but it is a herb that we use. It, it, it turned up in our detox tea for the liver flush. And one of the things about it that I really like is that um, you need a little bit of burdock on a daily basis for a few weeks will really recondition your skin quite nicely. If, if I'm using burdock in a formula, and it may, I may not even be necessarily treating the skin, I might be treating other things you can treat with, blood, with, with um, burdock, you can treat the blood sugar because it's a good blood sugar balance, so you can treat the kidneys, you can treat the liver. Um, so, you know, as a, almost as a side effect, people are saying, oh, I've noticed my skin is wonderful. Um, and it's like, you know, many of the side effects of herbs uh, are actually always positive rather than negative. Um, so burdock root's a fantastic skin herb. It seems to be able to, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's against dry and itchy skin, for example, it reconditions the skin. It's, um, it's a good addition. Mountain grape root is the next one. It's a member of the Berberis uh, family of plants. We had Berberis vulgaris, the Barbary bark, which I think we've seen in the context of the liver. This one is a more general alterative, uh, working particularly with the liver and the lymph. Um, and also has an affinity with the skin. And I've quite often used that as a partner to burdock in a skin clearing formula. And we have marigold again. Um, so uh, this crops up all over the place. It's such a, a great herb and it's very well tolerated. It's not a herb that's difficult to take. It's not unpleasant to take. It's not too strong. It's, it's just gentle and effective. Good topical treatment for damaged, inflamed skin as well. You can make a cream out of um, calendula or marigold flowers, um, and that's a great um, emollient for the skin. Emollient just means that it softens and soothes the skin.